Hello, welcome to Luna Midnight Designs. The doll base for this doll was picked by you guys. The choices were Gigi, Helene, G3 Draculaura, and Abby. I was expecting more votes for Druid 3 Draculaura, but in the end, Abby had the most votes. So let us begin with Abby's transformation. To help me figure out what to do, I spun a wheel with different themes on it. I first got historical, love good Nikki dress up, and gothic. So I looked for a look from the game that fit these themes and found this beautiful royal purple dress. I love the mix of different shades of purple and the gold mixed in. Like always, I get the doll back to the bare bones, so let's begin! So for the reroute, I will be using this hair in these colors. This light purple, a medium to dark purple, and black. I also paint that to match so it will help with the placement of the colors. I then begin with the light purple. And then move on to the medium to darker purple. And lastly, the black. And with all the hair rerouted, I just got a little glue on the inside so it all doesn't fall out. Like always, I spray the face and start with drawing on her eyebrows and then the whites of her eyes, making sure it's the shape I want. I'm going for a sad but like strong look, like she's sad but royal. And then make her lips purple and I color on her eyeshadow. I use different shades of purple and add a dark blue liner and wing. I add some under eye shadow detail and thicken her brow. I then copy and paste to the other side of her face. For her eyes, I started with making them both yellow and then changed things up a bit. I decided to make her half dragon, half human. So her left eye will be yellow but black and her right eye will just be blue. I then add one fang to her left side and gloss up her lips and eyes and the face up is done. For the body, I spray it with Mr. Super Clear and I blush her body with blues and purples. I cut out nail shapes from paper and I glue them to her left hand and paint them black. Her right hand is just purple with no paper extensions. To make her more half dragon, I used this Draculaura wing from her Ghoul's Rule doll and I added to part epoxy to the body and wing and added some snaps into the epoxy so the wing will stick to the doll as well as the tail. I then paint the pink part of the wing purple and then I paint the tail blue to match her skin tone. I then make a mold of an old epoxy horn I made a very long time ago. I then mix two part resin and pour in some black and purple shimmer with also the dye. I then pour them into the mold for a mix of black and purple horn. I then add gold leaf to all three pieces and her nails and a gold finger accessory because dragons love their gold. For her outfit, I will be using this shifting purple fabric and this silk fabric in both purple and blue. I used Rad Doll Clothes Renaissance Dress pattern for the different layers of the skirt as well as the sleeves. I cut out all the pieces from this gradient fabric that I found and the two silks and the color shifting.
I start by attaching the two front pieces together, one from the blue and the other from the shifting fabric, and I sew them at the top with a gathered stitch, I then test it on the doll and then sew them together along the back, leaving an opening for the tail. I take one of the gradient layers and add gold paint to the bottom and the inner edges. I then cut it in half and attach it to the waist. I do the same for the next two layers, cut it in half and gold painted inner edges. For the sleeves, I make a top puffy sleeve part with layering the shifting fabric over top of the blue with then a purple lining, gathering all around and close. For the long part of the sleeve, I cut the pieces out of the blue and the silk. I sew them together, good sides in, all around, leaving in a hole at the top so it can be turned. I then attach them to the puffy sleeves. To add more details to the skirt, I use these scrapbooking stickers and I place them on the skirt. They stick pretty good to the fabric. For the top part of the dress, I take the blue fabric and add a layer of glue. I then cut it to the shape I want and then add a layer of the shifting fabric on top. I add some extra gold details here and there, and the outfit is done! And here is the final doll, the Cursed Dragon called Persephone. If you have a better name suggestion, let me know in the comments! She lives in solitude, shunned by both humans and dragons, for she was born of both worlds. She was cursed so long ago, and has lived wishing all alone for answers or an escape. She watches as the world around her changes. She watches the shifting of the seasons. Scared to step outside her castle in fear, she'll burn everything she touches. Was she cursed to be half human or half dragon? She doesn't know which is her true form. Will her curse ever be lifted? Creating this doll was a lot of fun and imagining her story was even more so. Anyway, thank you all for joining me today in creating this doll. Follow me on Instagram to see more and to be more a part of my process and subscribe to get future videos. Thank you all for your love and support. Have a creative day. See you soon. Bye!